السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم آن بی ہاف آف مرکز صحابہ دا وائس آف اہل و سنا و جماعہ وی پرزینٹ ٹو یو لیسن نمبر ففٹین تھرٹی فور آف آور ڈیلی نصیحہ این ایڈوائس ٹو ڈے و دا گریس این مرسی آف آل میٹ اللہ جل ولا وی فوکس آن حافظ ابن حجر رحیم اللہ His kunya is Abu al-Fadl and he is known as Shihab al-Din. His full name is Ahmad bin Ali bin Muhammad bin Muhammad bin Ahmad. He was one of the greatest Shafi'i scholars of his time and he is known as Ibn Hajar al-Asqalani. And he was the Qazi al-Quzat of his time, the Chief Justice. He was born in Egypt on the 10th of Shaban, the year 773 after Hijrah. He became a Hafiz of the Noble Qur'an when he was nine years old, and he by hearted great, great books of the scholars, the Mukhtasar of Ibn Hajib. He traveled to Makkah, Mukarramah, Medina, Munawwara, and he traveled to Sham, Syria, Palestine, Jordan, and he traveled in various parts there in Egypt. Then he chose Hafiz Zain al-Iraqi as his greatest sheikh and stayed with him for ten years. When Hafiz Zain al-Iraqi then was his ending time, the people asked him, Who is your main successor and your khalifa? He said, Ibn Hajar Asqalani, rahimahullah. Therefore, the ulama say, Lam yulad mithlahu ba'dahu. That you won't find another Ibn Hajar in this world like nowadays. He was a master in every field, whether it was in history, whether it was in, in Arabic literature, whether it was in fatawa and verdicts, whether it was in qadha and being the judge. So many fields and he wrote more than 150 books. Subhanallah, especially regarding hadith, that was his forte. And he wrote Fathul Bari. Fathul Bari is a commentary of Bukhari. Hardly you will find a scholar who teaches Bukhari Sharif properly, does not use it. It is known as Qamusu Sunnah, the encyclopedia and dictionary of the Sunnah. And he started writing this work, remember, in the year 817. And he completed it in 842. And thereafter, he gave a big, big walima, walima meaning Dawud. So for this, because it was his greatest contribution and his magnum opus. So in that way, he became the Qazi al-Quzat. But remember that when you pass judges' judgment against influential people, then they always try and take you out. Likewise, he wrote Bulugh al-Maram, and he wrote so many works on hadith. All these works are taught in the hadith, in the hadith kitabs, in the Arab world, in our Darul Ulums, and so forth, in various, various places. And then eventually he passes away after Isha on the night of Saturday. So on the 8th of Zul Hijjah, and the year was 852. So may each one of us make qadr and appreciate the great, great works of the giant, giant scholar Hafiz ibn Hajar Asqalani, rahimahullah. And remember, he even lectured there in Jamiatul Azhar, in the Azhar University at that time when it was in his glory. So may Almighty Allah, Jalla wa Allah, give us to speak, to understand these great people. Sheikh Jalaluddin Suyuti, Rahimahullah, said, وَقَدَ غَلَّقَ بَعْدَهُ الْبَاب He has closed the door for everybody basically regarding hadith and that. So that is what a great scholar he was. Allah Ta'ala give him Jannatul Firdaus. Amin. Amin.